Hello, YouTube. So, my name is Martin, and I'm starting a YouTube series, I guess, of basically my life, and right now it's not that interesting, but in two months I will be studying abroad at Kansai Gaida University in Japan. Um, and that's a study abroad program through my school, Eastern Michigan. And what I'm doing now is taking some pre-videos of my life in America where I'll talk about my preparation and everything for Japan. Now, um, I have to mention something. Benjamin A. Gilman Scholarship has granted me a scholarship to study abroad in Japan. So I wouldn't be able to go if I didn't get the scholarship, so that's pretty awesome. And, oh, for people who are interested in the Gilman Scholarship, I have some... Let me show you some stuff about it and, like, the application for it for people who are interested and people who have done it in the future, the steps and such. So we'll move the camera right now to the login screen and everything. Alright. Okay, so here's the screen. There's my username. This is the home page. Where is it? Focus. It's not focusing. But there goes Gilman Scholarship. This is for people who have already been accepted. So I'll come back to the other part. And you go, here's my name, your name, all that jazz. And you see here, I've already done everything. Um, so I've uploaded, I've read everything, I've uploaded everything I needed, mailed everything in. I don't think I had to mail anything actually. But I got everything submitted. And then they show your approval of the things you submitted right here. And if you got anything that needs to be resubmitted, such as I did, um, they'll send you an email and you just do it again. And then, um, it's sim pretty simple, but for people who have not yet are interested in applying for the scholarship, you can just Google um, Gilman Scholarship. Right there, it's the first one that comes up. Gilman Scholarship, sorry about this quality. And anyways, you go right here, apply. Um, eligibility application and so let me describe the application pro like the application for this scholarship real quick um, you need your transcri transcripts you also need there's two essays for this there's an essay for the reasons why you want to go your statement of purpose reasons why you want to go um, why they should choose you etc and then the second essay is your follow-up project, which is how you're going to get the word out about studying abroad and how it can enhance your life, essentially. And this is my follow-up project right here. It's an actually parallel project to my study abroad experience, so it's a little bit of both, I guess. And let's see, what else do you need? And, and then the application form itself and transcripts, I already said that. And you can apply to do this all online, it's pretty simple. And it's also need-based, so people who receive financial aid are eligible, or are grants, I suppose. I'm not sure what the exact thing is. Are eligible for it. And it's something you should look into, it's really awesome, it's really great. And I encourage it. And another thing I wanted to mention, oh, was the application process for my school program. Uh, I go to Eastern, and I'm a Japanese major there, as well as an art major. Woo! Furniture design. Anyways, um, application for the actual study abroad program is pretty long. Um, there was lots of papers. First thing is you have a basic application form, and with that there's three recommendation letters, and also an essay 
statement and transcripts. Uh, once you do all that, there's some secondary forms you need to fill out. There's like another 20 pages of stuff. I'm the advisor. We'll go through it all with you. She's really awesome. And let's see, I'm looking over here at the screen. I'm going to Kansai Gaidai, and if you're at Eastern, there's two other places you can go, and that's Tokyo Gakuge and JCNU. And so, oh, for the Kansai application, so once you accept to have your process through the school, the Japanese school will review your application and they will have to accept you. So you have to get accepted twice, essentially. And so Kansai has accepted me, thankfully. I'm really happy about that. And they also have additional application forms you need to fill out. And their application process is all online. And they have their own website, which I would go to right now. Ready? And turn the camera again. It's right here. They send you this website, so you'll get that in the mail if you get accepted. You log in on the bottom. And you put your ID and username, password, it's like two things. And then here's the uh, information you don't even know. <laughs> um, here's all that stuff, and they have additional forms and such you need to fill out housing form, arrival forms, address forms, and it's, it's pretty straightforward. All of this is straightforward. And I've yet to do my visa, and when I do that, the day I get that all set up, I'll take you on a trip to the consulate. It'll be fun. And let's see. That's basically all I have to say right now. This is an introduction video. The other ones are going to be a lot shorter and quick to the point, and I'll get used to this. So hopefully I'll be better. And until next time, see ya!